Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of my storm fans out there. It's your captain speaking. If you give me just a few minutes, we're going to start up a stream that's a little bit delayed from Thursday, but here we are, ready to rock and roll. I'll be right back. give me just a few minutes we're gonna start up a stream that's a little bit delayed from th Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is a Saturday afternoon stream for everybody watching on uh, YouTube live. And then if you're catching this video later, then thank you for watching. But welcome, everybody. We're going to stream today, uh, internet permitting, I suppose. Uh, this is a little bit of a, an attempt number two because my internet decided to... Um, not function on Thursday. So here we are on Saturday evening and we've got a fun one today. We are going to be playing Turbo Smog and uh, this is a fantastic legacy combo deck that came about with the printing of Strixhaven um, with the printing specifically of Witherbloom Apprentice. This is a black and a green for a 2-2 human druid and it has Magecraft. Magecraft is an ability whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses one life and I gain a life. So this allows me to cast or copy anything, including Ponder, Brainstorm, the Veil of Summers here, but most importantly, Chain of Smog. Chain of Smog allows, uh, it's a sorcery, one on a black, so it can be, it can trigger Magecraft. Uh, target player draws, uh, discards two cards. Uh, that player may copy this spell and may choose new uh, targets for that copy. So if I Chain of Smog myself, oh my gosh, then I actually can choose to copy it again and copying still triggers mage, uh, Magecraft. So um, I can chain my chain of smogs over and over and over and over oh no the internet's going again okay um this sucks really really sorry about that i uh glitching every few seconds that's really unfortunate i'm gonna try to keep going i tested it right beforehand and i was getting about half of the speeds that i'm currently paying for which is the max allowable at my apartment. Um, 
and it's the only ISP that's there. So unfortunately, they're not really incentivized to fix anything because they know that I'm the, uh, they're the only option for us. Uh, we're going to try to power through it and see if it comes back up. I was checking beforehand, and it was fine. Um, but that's not great. Buffering every few seconds is not ideal. Hmm. Okay. We'll see how bad it ends up getting. Um, we'll run a speed test to see how things are. But we're going to try to power through it. So this is a really compact combo. Witherbloom Apprentice plus Chain of Smog is an infinite uh, loss of life uh, and gain life. So my opponent loses an infinite amount of life and I gain an infinite amount of life. Um, oh yeah, my internet is a tenth of what I'm paying now as opposed to half. That's not great. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna see what happens. Maybe it'll pop back up again. But since this is such a compact combo, our entire game plan is to protect it and find it as quickly as possible. To that end, we have a bunch of cantrips, Ponder, Brainstorm, uh, the traditional cantrip suite, but we're also playing Profane Tutor, which is a suspend demonic tutor, takes two suspend counters, and we can uh, tutor up a card from our library. We're also playing Summoner's Pact, the summoner pa Summoner's Packs gets a few things in a little bit of a package. It obviously gets the Witherbloom Apprentice. It also gets a one of Sylvan Safekeeper to play around things like Lightning Bolt and Swords to Plowshares, and also Elvish Spirit Guide as a way to increase our mana to uh, potentially get us over the hump for this four mana combo that we need. Then we have all of this protected with Thoughtseize and Veil of Summer and the aforementioned Sylvan Safekeeper. And with this combo, we can't really play counter magic because with Chain of Smog targeting us, we're gonna be hellbent when we're comboing off. So we want to have proactive um, disruption. Thoughtseize is a very good card at that. And then Veil of Summer is likewise an excellent card because its effect lasts for the entirety of the turn. Um, and then Thoughtseize allows us to, you know, pick the one thing that will disrupt us and then move on. And we have a lot of mana ramp here. We have two Elvish Spirit Guides that we've already talked about. So te technically six copies of Elvish Spirit Guide if you're counting the Summoner's Packs. And then Lotus Petal and Dark Ritual to ramp this, t this combo out as quickly as possible. And then 15 lands. Um, one basic swamp, which is um, really nice. We can actually play under Blood Moon. Um, Elvish Spirit Guide and Dark Ritual off of the swamp gives us the four mana that we need, one of it being green, to combo off. Uh, now it's coming in cool, yeah. Uh, Midwest Internet. This is not Wi-Fi. This is hardwired Ethernet. So we'll see how everything goes. But if it's coming in good, then I'm happy with that. Um, in the sideboard, we're working on a, kind of a general structured sideboard here. Uh, we have four Leyline of the Voids, uh, a couple of Carpet of Flowers. We do have one Sylvan Safekeeper as an additional Summoner's Pact target, or just doubling up on them. Um, Jason, welcome back. Thank you for supporting. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. I appreciate you. Um, Sylvan Safekeeper. So just another fantastic protection. I talked a little bit about it, but I didn't really read the card. It's a one mana one one, but it has sacrifice a land, target creature gains shroud until end of turn. So this protects from that pesky spot removal that's really helpful. Um, and we also have a little bit of with my ISP and um, they weren't very helpful because when they were running the tests, they didn't see that there was any internet problems, despite the screenshots that I was showing them of my internet speed tests. So it wasn't a problem when they were measuring, uh, so it obviously wasn't real, apparently. I don't know. Okay, we're getting griefed. Um, Profane Tutor is probably the take. We do have redundancy. Um, 
They could just take Brainstorm if they're planning on Grizzlebrand. Orcish Bowmasters is a problem potentially. I'm guessing that this is Reanimator. They have Dark Ritual and Grief and Marsh Flats. This also could be the mono black kind of Helm control deck. They might may or may not be playing Helm. There's a, a bunch of mono black decks coming around with Grief and Orcish Bowmasters and Shieldrids and things like that. We'll see what actually ends up happening. Um, I am routinely running some internet tests, speed tests, and they took the Bowmasters. Okay. Oh, are they just playing actual scam here? Uh, wild. Or not. Okay. They still could reanimate the grief. I don't know. They are going to reanimate the grief. I wonder if they take the brainstorm or the profane tutor. Not sure. Um, hey, Wasteland Broody. Welcome to the buffering stream. We're going to try our best. Okay, they took the profane tutor. Makes sense to me anyway. So with that, I think I'm going to brainstorm. Uh, I don't know. Um, I could attempt to just like cast the Witherbloom Apprentice on our turn and t uh, pass, um, which will allow me to potentially draw into a Chain of Smog next turn. I don't know. They could play, well, they're likely playing Snuff Out and it does nothing against Witherbloom Apprentice, but they also could be playing things like Fatal Push. Um, you know, since I have the second one, I'm going to just, I'm just gonna play out the Witherbloom Apprentice. If they have Fatal Push or some kind of targeted removal, um, an edict effect, then so be it. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the sidebar? It's kind of a little bit of animated. It's got some of our sponsors on there. It's kind of cool. I think it looks neat, but it's really just what looks good to you all because you're the ones that are engaging and watching the video and supporting us. Um, delays are fine. Uh, John, that's all good, but um, yes, the buffering stream for sure. All right. I think that there is a little bit of a chat delay, but that's okay. <laughs> Our opponent is playing a bad land, so this is probably Reanimator itself. Uh, Lotus Petal almost guarantees it. My cat is... He's got a lot to say today. Um, okay, Faithless Looting. And... Maybe that's why they took the Orcish Bowmasters. Could be. I don't know. No, Dominique, it's not just you. Um, a little bit rough. Okay, Grizzlebrand and Faithless Looting. Seems reasonable to take the Bowmasters there. And, and uh, the other thing is that they could pivot into a, a fair plan where they're casting spells and uh, creatures that don't require reanimate. In which case, Abrupt Decay is good for some of them, but not all of them. Shieldred being the one that Abrupt Decay is not going to hit. Um, I want to go fast. And I like the Thought Seizes and Veils, the Pan Trips. Maybe, maybe I take out all the Profane Tutors and leave in one Abrupt Decay uh, for the potential um, Opposition Agent or something like that. Mm. I'm not super excited about that. I like the rest of the board plan, but I think I'm going to go with the Abrupt Decay, just in case. Nardolphin, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, I would like to play first. Um, okay, caught up during sideboarding. Well, that's 
interesting. Okay, we've got some Chain of Smogs and a Ponder. Hmm. We are relatively um, insulated from discard, and if I can hide a Witherbloom Apprentice on top away from discard, then I have a turn two combo. I am gonna keep this. I understand that it's a little bit risky and I don't have a ley line. Um, we're gonna call it good. We're gonna try. And I'll get an underground sea. Polluted Delta can get a green source. Mm, I would like to see a Witherbloom Apprentice. Ley line's not gonna cut it. Another ponder isn't bad. Um, opponent is on reanimator today. Um, I don't want to dark ritual out a, a ley line. I, I think that that's going to be too slow. I think I'm going to just shuffle this. Brainstorm's not bad. Okay. Our opponent kept seven, by the way. So... This might just be it for us. We'll see. Got a fetch land and something going on. Mm. Thoughtsies. Okay. They're probably going to take the brainstorm, which is fine. I think that that's a, the best take. Um, which is unfortunate because that's the one that I wanted to cast, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Oh, we have a, a friend here decided to say hi to all the stream. Um, Angus is going to probably walk across the front of the camera a few times before I kick him off, but we'll see if he's just gonna hang out and be chill. I doubt it. Hmm. Our opponent is taking a while on this thought seize. Um. I'm not sure what they think they need to be worried about. They take a chain of smog. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Witherbloom Apprentice. How about a turn two through discard? Uh, yeah, John, he's really, he's always in trouble. Um, drawing absolutely perfect. And I might as well just play out the other Dark Ritual. I'm going to discard it. And now I'm going to Chain of Smog myself. I'm going to yield to this Magecraft ability drain and gain, and then I can copy it if my opponent allows it. Maybe they'll scoop. But I'm going to target myself, and I'm going to discard up to two cards. It's two cards. And then I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to select the same targets, and it's going to trigger Magecraft again, because I've copied a spell. Magecraft counts the copies. And now I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, yeah, so my internet actually, I have been testing it every few minutes and now I'm back up to normal speeds. So I think that it should be fine for everybody. We had a little bit of, uh, of an issue, a little bit of a dip, but should be fine now. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over and over again until our opponent realizes that they are in fact deceased. Um... Just click, click, click. 
all the way down, pinging my opponent to zero life. Um, we'll see. I, yeah, Bryant, of course I don't acknowledge presence. I know. The sideboard is great. I was telling everybody about it earlier. And I did acknowledge your presence. I said thank you for telling me about the sidebar issue. Um, okay, do I want to change anything? I'm really not excited about this Abrupt Decay. The more I thought about it, the less I liked it. So I actually think that I'm going to go with uh, an Orcish Bowmasters, just in case they're going for the um, the Grizzle Brand Faithful Saluting lines where they're drawing a bunch of cards. I think the Bowmasters is going to be just fine. Just one, just one copy. It's not at its best, but this uh, could be potentially really nice. We have half of our combo already in hand. This is gonna be the Wither Bloom Apprentice. So we're actually only missing a chain of smog and we have Ley Line and a bunch of discard. Um, so we're gonna keep this one. Our opponent also kept seven. All right. Yes, look. You want to join our side or our Patreon? You get sideboard guide access. It shows you right on top of the, the the sidebar. It's great. Okay. Our opponent is making their decisions. And not doing anything. Okay, there's a land. I was concerned. Thoughtsies. Okay. So likely taking the Summoner's Pact. Um, maybe the Flusterstorm. It depends on what their hand looks like. But, ah, Bryant, with all of the awesome emotes that you get uh, by becoming a YouTube member. We actually already had Jason re-up their awesome membership. Um, they took the Summoner's Pact. That makes sense. You get some really cool emotes. And we're really close to actually getting another emote unlocked. So... You know, every little bit counts. Alrighty then. Let's see. Are they going to allow me to Flusterstorm something? Can I Veil of Summer something? I will Veil of Summer to Cantrip 100%. Like, if they Dothy Voidwalker, um, I'm going to Veil before it resolves, first off. Um, Faithless Looting. Yeah, that's fine. I have this veil of some, or the the ley line of the void, so we're all good here. And they've scooped it up. Wow, sure thing. Uh, that one counts as a win in my book, so it's right, it's right here, I think. Yeah, yeah, win right there. Put it on the match screen. Alrighty. Uh, you know, John, I do have something for you. I played it already, so I'm not going to redo the same ad, but the tokens are actually phenomenal. Um, I actually should have lent you mine uh, a couple of weeks ago when you were playing the Epic Storm because it does it does help a lot for paper, paper magic play. But while we're actually queuing up for our second match, I'll tell you about how you can support this stream and content like Bryant is producing three times a week and the weekly streams uh, by becoming a YouTube member. We were just talking about the emotes. We were just talking about some of the awesome functions that you get uh, by becoming a member. But let's actually talk about it a little bit more. We also have other ways you can support us like the Epic Storm Backcom Workshop or submitting a donation code. Uh, did that play all of them all at once? Um, I think that that played all of them all at once. Uh, okay. My apologies, everyone. Okay, I will have to do that from not my stream deck. Something's going on with that one. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, this is not gonna happen. Uh, this will happen. We're gonna keep this one. Uh, yeah, I bet that was a little intense. Like camping. We're gonna keep this and put a lotus petal on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I bet that was a little, little problematic. Uh, I'll just have to do it from uh, stream beats instead. I don't know what happened with my stream deck. I think that when I incorporated the sidebar, I copied everything over into a new um, scene. Uh, and I don't think everything copied over 100%. Yeah, clip it all. It's all good. Okay, we are playing against Delver. Um, hmm. They put one on top. And they know we're about to draw something. It's a little unfortunate that I'm just going to be ready and open to wasteland. Oh, they know about the chain of smog. Hmm. Okay. Let's play the tropical islands, the one that if it gets wastelanded, I'm fine with. I'm not going to use this lotus petal to suspend a profane tutor. Uh, I don't think that that's going to be the game plan. Yeah, there's the wasteland. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not great. This is a particularly mana hungry combo deck, uh, which is surprising for how compact it is. But uh, with the amount of protection that you want from everything, it does get a little heavy handed. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can post your clip in chat, Jason. That's good. I'm sure people enjoy, will enjoy that. And yeah, just, just relive that whole experience, all of the ads all at once. Um, which, I don't know if you saw, but we actually have some new uh, sponsors that you've probably heard about on the uh, regular weekly videos uh, that Bryant has been posting but we are sponsored by Moxfield and Eminence Gaming and Card Hoarder. We have some awesome, awesome sponsors. I'll, I'll be excited to tell you about some of the stuff that they've got going on as I'm being bashed in the head for six every turn because our opponent has Delirium. That's pretty quick. Okay. I don't think that this is going to get there. Hmm. It was a little backwards sequencing. Probably should have played the Lotus Petal out first. If they chose to daze that, then it would have looked a little silly. But, um... No, there's, there's the daze. Okay. I don't think that we're going to be winning this game. Uh... Yeah, we're going to go to three. They could potentially have a Lightning Bolt... Maybe I should have powered out this um, this profane tutor. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's what I should have done. It's okay. You live and learn. Okay, so we've got Carpet of Flowers and Sylvan Safekeeper and Defense Grids that are coming in. All fantastic cards. Uh, and we can go a little bit lighter on the mana ramp. Um, so let's go minus... Uh, let's go minus a couple of summoner's packs, which is a little like mana ramp. Um, and then I think a couple of lotus petals and a dark ritual. So summoner's pact also functions as wither bloom apprentice copies, you know, um, what is that? Nine through 12, um, nine through 12. No, I was trying to factor in Profane Tutor. That's all right, five through eight. But um, I don't think that 
I want to shave on any of the actual combo cards, I can shave on the summoner's packs that uh, function as additional pieces. I'm going to try to go with a little bit more of a uh, protected combo, hopefully. Hmm. Interesting. So I can play out a carpet of flowers. I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'm going to try this. This has got our combo piece. We've got mana acceleration. We've got dark ritual as additional mana acceleration. So let's use an ESG to get this carpet out, which happens. Okay. I was kind of wondering if they were going to counter that, but I guess not. And they don't have any islands, so I couldn't suspend Profane Tutor with an extra mana. It's unfortunate, but such is life. Okay. So, no mana from Carpet of Flowers. Hmm. So I could Dark Ritual out something to, res to suspend a Profane Tutor, but I'm fine. They're not presenting a clock early. This could be something like a Spell Pierce. Um, no, I meant to hit no. That's fine. Um, excuse me. A little sneezy today. Hmm. Our opponent is also missing land drops. They've got seven spells in hand. It's a little terrifying. Ah, land number two. So a bit unfortunate that I have to fetch a wasteable source to suspend this profane tutor. But because of that, uh, let's get the, do I get a tropical island? I think it's all three of my colors. Let's do that. Okay. So we have a suspended profane tutor. And no islands from our opponent yet. They are actively playing around that. I wonder if they've been holding on to a wasteland as well. Could be. Bobble. And bobbling me, even though they have a fetch land. Interesting. They could use it as a scry of a sort. But they chose not to. Okay, so Profane Tutor will come off suspend next turn. There's another Profane Tutor. Okay, so I actually am pretty, pretty good happy with this because I can just tutor, tutor, tutor all in su succession and collect um, the cards that I need to have a protected win. I'm pretty okay with that. Like Veil of Summer, uh, Sylvan Safekeeper, things like that. Okay, so they are fetching an island. Great. Good to know. Um, I just finished putting together Cole Clamp Storm for EDH camp. Um, competitive or playable? You said playable, which means, yes, you can definitely play that in, in Legacy. Competitive, um, nah, maybe not as much, but we're going to cast this Profane Tutor. It might be fun in Legacy. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I don't know about competitive. Okay. Uh, Carpet of Flowers is pretty interesting. Um, I 
Like I could obviously get Chain of Smog. Uh, if I get Chain of Smog, then I can present a Dark Ritual combo kill, but they have been holding on to so much and I would like to establish some kind of mana um, advantage that I can use and abuse turn over turn. And I think that that's going to just be a Carpet of Flowers number two. Um, and then with the Profane Tutors that are coming off of Suspend next turn and the following turn, I can then get an additional layer of protection and a Chain of Smog, and hopefully go off all in one turn. So let's do that. And I get my draw step as well, which could change things. Um, so, chose to decline for what it's worth, because I can now use both the carpets at the same time. Um, yes, black. Yes, black. Suspend, and we're we're doing pretty good. I'm pretty okay with this. I like the second carpet of flowers. Let me know if you would have gotten something different, but I think that it makes sense to me. And the fact that they're bolting in their upkeep instead of the creatures that they know I need to combo off with, pretty happy with that. They are, uh, they put a card on top of their library, and it might have been a land. I don't know. Okay. Storm isn't too bad. You get used to it. Uh, those reps are really what matters. Any any deck in Legacy is going to be, you know, varying levels of complicated. Um, you just need to practice with it. Okay, Profane Tutor here. I'm pretty happy with a Veil of Summer. And then I'm not gonna fetch. Thoughtseize is pretty nice. So yeah, I will grab black and green. Let's Thoughtseize my opponent. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So next turn, I'll need four mana for the Chain of Smog and Witherbloom Apprentice. Um, what I could do is cast a Witherbloom Apprentice right now. Um, and then I would have Witherbloom Apprentice, Chain of Smog, Veil, and Thoughtseize all backed up through days and the Witherbloom Apprentice now might eat a targeted removal or a counter spell. Pretty okay with this. Yeah, I like this. Um, yeah, so this allows them to do any kind of cantripping and sculpting their hand that they'll do next turn on their turn. Um, so if I were to thought seize now, the texture of their hand could change and um, my information could be faulty. Okay, so they did have a lightning bolt. This is their upkeep. They're getting rid of an unholy heat. Okay. They've drawn their card. They'll obviously be attacking now. So the sequence is going to be make a bunch of mana with Carpet of Flowers. Um, I'm going to get this Chain of Smog. Hmm. Let's go black and green. They ch they did not choose to wasteland me. This is the Lord of the Rings 
um, treatment for Wasteland Valley of Gorgoroth. Um, so this could be Spell Pierce. Now I'm playing around Spell Pierce as well. Let's try Thoughtseize to start. And it's Veil Protected. Tropical Island. I wonder if they have something like a Stifle. They have Veil of Summer. That's wild. So, that's fine. And then Thoughtseize doesn't do anything. Well, it goes into the graveyard and Surgical extraction. That's really, really well timed. I was not thinking about surgical extraction with this. Um, and it can't be countered, so I can't. Um, well, I actually don't think I have the fluster storms in. Yeah, I don't have the Fluster Storms in. Well, let's see about drawing a card really quick. I don't know what we could draw. Orcish Bowmasters, maybe? Uh, Force of Will? And they had the Daze. Okay, well, they got us here. That's really unfortunate. Um, surgical Extraction. I was thinking that we could get rid of all of these targeted removal spells, but um, yeah, that's too bad. Okay, so let me now select exactly the ad that I wanna to talk to you about. And actually, let's do something that you haven't seen in a little while. Let's talk about Moxfield while I queue up into the next league. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Yeah, no horror Bryant today, um, which I got to watch that back again. That sounds like it was a wild experience. So we are up here for round number three against Fandwick. Um, the Royal Scions, the Twins. Uh, I don't know. It's cool. Cool card. Um, and we lost the die roll. So, unfortunate, but we actually have a decent hand. Chain of Smog is the hardest piece of the combo out of the two to find. Um, and we have uh, two of them, which is, which is decent. Um, so there are eight cards that will immediately put a Witherbloom Apprentice into our hand and then three Profane Tutors that can find it very quickly. Chrome Mox Taiga. Shatter Skull Smashing. Lotus Petal. Is this Gruel Initiative? Trinisphere. Um, that's not great at all, but we can win through it. Um, we just have to draw lands. Yeah, uh, okay, we just we literally just have to draw lands now. So if we draw running running lands uh and dodge fury for what it's worth, then we have a we have a chance here. Cuz the trinosphere doesn't count copies. Hmm. Caves of Chaos Adventurer. Well, now it's a lot harder to do all of that because there's a clock now on us now. Ugh, there's so much cat hair everywhere. It's been so warm that my cat has been blowing out his coat. 
again. Okay. I think that we're going to be good here. Uh, not going to happen. That's too fast of a clock. And now we've got to talk about Abrupt Decay being good. Sylvan Safekeeper is pretty good against the likes of Fury. And then maybe Collector Oof. Defense Grid is not a consideration. Um, cards that are bad. Orcish Bowmasters. And then... I'm actually pretty okay with the rest of this. I could see cutting a couple of ponders. They are going to be playing Chalice of the Void. Um, and then, you know, like the Collector Oof um, isn't the, the best card against them, but we did see, you know, the Chrome Mox in. They have Lotus Petals. Um, we're not going to worry about Collector Oof. We're just going to... We're just going to take the Abrupt Decays and the extra Sylvan Safekeeper, cut those Orcish Bowmasters, and try our best. Ah, Embrace Volatility. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, I'm going to keep this. We've got a Thoughtseize to disrupt and enough lands to play through a Trinosphere if we need, and one part of the combo. Okay, so let's let's thought seize off of a basic. We don't know if they're playing Blood Moon, um, but I am gonna get the basic anyway. There's Trinosphere and Lotus Petal. Hmm, Minskin Boo. Minsk and Boos are not great. It is interesting that this is not a great Trinosphere hand for them uh, because they have to lose a Lotus Petal and their city, they don't have a colored mana source. Um, their only other land is another city of traders. So they would need two more colored sources to cast Minskin Booze. Uh, and if I grab this Fable, I have enough lands to play under Trinosphere. Okay, this is weird, but I think if we take the Fable of the Mirror Breaker, we can lock our opponent out underneath their own Trinosphere if they choose to play it. Um... Obviously the other option is to take the Lotus Petal, but then they're drawing to any amount of mana uh, to cast a Trinosphere. And I'm not as excited about that. If I take the Fable and leave them with the Lotus Petal, they're incentivized to play the Trinosphere. This is a little risky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm not sure about this, but we'll see if it works. And they are playing... Oh, they drew a Simeon Spirit Guide. Of course they did. Okay. Well, there are eight of them in the deck, so that's something that they can do. Well, we're going to play out this Witherbloom Apprentice and hope to draw a Chain of Smog. Hmm. Was not great. I still think that I'm okay with how we played that. Um, obviously, it didn't work out super well. And they have an Ancient Tomb. Okay, so they are going to cast a Trinosphere now. They just drew pretty good. 
Okay, chain of smog off the top. Didn't happen. Uh, seven is gonna be 10. I can block four of it and that's not gonna be enough. Okay, well, that was really quick. Uh, really unfortunate, <laughs> that did not last long at all. Um, okay, one and two, we're gonna queue up for another league um, and I'm gonna also, I'm gonna, what did I talk to about? Oh, it was how you could support us by becoming a YouTube member. That was what I was gonna tell you about. Instead, uh, you got mega Bryant and that probably wasn't great. But if you do like the content, then let me know and you can actually support us by becoming a YouTube member, which is exactly what I said beforehand and then unleashed Mega Bryant on you all. Let's try it again, it'll be better. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsforum.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsforum.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. It is indeed time to combo. We won the die roll and this has both pieces of the combo um, and protection. All we have to do is survive to a point where we can play it all. So let's actually start by we're gonna keep this hand first off. That's great. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch Horror Bryant after this stream. It's gonna be jarring, I'm sure. Um, but we're, since we have double dark rituals, what I'm actually gonna do is a ritual out of Thoughtseize and then suspend a Profane Tutor. Um, and it's gonna look like we're some kind of reanimator almost. Okay, let's grab the bayou. And see what our opponent is doing. Oh, reanimator. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, okay, so faithful saluting and unmask are ways to put um, creatures in the graveyard for them unmask can target themselves um they do have reanimate itself which i think is gonna be the pick it is the unique one among the cards in their hand and we are going to just get discarded which probably takes the summoner's pact um okay let's just grab the reanimate and suspend profane tutor. So we have part of our combo protected from discard. Um, and then let's see what their discard ends up actually doing. If they end up discarding, maybe they just go for a faithless looting. Who knows? Grief pitching unmask. Okay. And their choice here is Sylvan Safekeeper. Interesting. Okay. And they faithlessly loot or loot faithlessly. A um, couple of grizzle brands in the bin. All right, just where they want them. Um, a land would be interesting. It would be nice. We can set up a win on the following turn. Dark Ritual doesn't quite do it. Um, we need a black mana and a green mana so that we can Dark Ritual these things out. And so far we only have one of those. Um, and the Summoner's Pact, so the Profane Tutor has Chain of Smog written all over it. The Summoner's Pact has, oh, they, they hit a land. Okay, that's potentially good. That's one less reanimate thing that they have. Uh, except they're fetching. Uh-oh. 
We have one unknown card in hand. Dark Ritual. Okay, so if this is a Shieldred, that's just fine. Hey, Dominique, how's it going? Or they could be flashing back Faithless Looting. Oh, that's, that's good. That seems like the best option for me this turn. They discarded two Thought Seizes. They're not interested in discarding me. Okay, so um, let's cast this Profane Tutor. We get a card. It's going to be the Chain of Smog. And we want to draw a land. Or Elvish Spirit Guide does the exact same thing. Okay. Excellent. Ah, oh, top four. What were you playing? That's pretty cool, though. We do get the combo off. Turn three. Through some discard, through some disruption. Pretty excited about that. Um, okay, so we've done this before. Fluster Storms and Leyline of the Voids in. And we can take out Orcish Bowmasters, Sylvan Safekeeper, and uh, what else was it? Was it two Profane Tutors? It was two Profane Tutors. Yep. Yorion Zenith. Okay. Pretty nice. Did you have like Natural Order in there as well? Um, or like Atraxa? Or just kind of a fair Zenith, like a bug Zenith deck? with Leovolds and stuff like that. Okay, I think that that's all I want. I want the Profane Tutor in there. I think that, or no, no, no. We decided that one Bowmasters was probably better. Um, didn't we do that? Because they could have the Grizzlebrand Faithless Looting line that we can punish. Yeah, that was what it was. So Reanimator, uh, twice now, and a really aggressive prison deck. Okay, we have the combo. We have an additional mana, and we have some disruption. I'm going to keep this. We just need two additional mana, and we can ponder into them. So it's pretty good. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to count it. Um, our opponent decided they mold to five and didn't want to play anymore. I'll take it. So we're on to round number five after a series of very quick matches. Um, interesting. Well, uh, you played Natural Order, but also two Leovolds. Okay, pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream, I suppose. Um, well, Dominic, since you were just at a tournament, if you or any of the other streamers, viewers that are watching this stream want to actually be able to set up a tournament in their local area and don't know really how to do it, um, there's an awesome, awesome tool that one of our sponsors, Eminence Gaming, known for their fantastic CEDH events, uh, actually has put together. Let me tell you a little bit about it while we are finding our fifth and final round. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple and it's done on the web. No downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. And we are actually ready for round five. Also a very quick match. Um, we're against Bob and Cheese and we're on the play like this Let's see what the seven card hand has to give us yorion okay well we've got the combo we do not have thoughtsies this tropical island is a bit rough we can cantrip uh whenever we find something and we've got veil vale of summers i hope that this is a blue deck as opposed to a heavy wasteland rashad and port death and taxes variant of yorion likely likely to be something blue in this day and age um oh that's awesome eminence is fantastic um we're gonna keep this i really like their software it is like 
some of the best on, on the planet. It's just clean and very user-friendly and not like other companies that, or motherships that don't actually produce re really good tournament um, organized software. I don't know. Okay. Tropical Island go for us and our opponent. Who knows what they're doing? Underground Sea. Oh, they could be. They could be discarding me. I hope that they do. I've got Veil of Summers. Okay. Okay. So let's discard my opponent. Oh, we've got a cat. We got a cat butt. Um, he makes a better door than a window, but we're gonna give him a shot here. Uh, okay, he's settling down. That's good. It's bath time. I thought Seize is going to reveal. Uh, oh wow, interesting. Okay. Leyline binding from our opponent. That is wild. Um, let's take the Teferi, I think. Leyline binding it does have flash. They're kind of close to that. Yeah, yeah, I think we should just, we need to just take the Leyline binding, unfortunately. Um, if they draw a land, then they can turn two to fairy with uh, Mox Diamond. Um, lost a black red painter. Oh, that's kind of a tough matchup, isn't it? Uh, they're pretty grindy, but they also can just have the combo. Ooh, they topped a ponder. It's a pretty good draw for them. I think that I'm going to uh, cycle this Veil of Summer at the end of their turn. They choose not to shuffle, played the scrub land that we knew about, Okay, I am going to cycle a veil. Um, okay, another land is great. Orcish Bowmasters. Well, I have the four mana to combo, and they have one, two, three, four, five. They have one unknown card in hand. If it's a Swords to Plowshares or a Force of Will, then I'm screwed. But. If it's not that, then they lose. I think I'm gonna take the bet. I'm gonna get an Elvish Spirit Guide here as a plus one mana source. And black and green. Um, oh yeah, Jason, the, the ESG with the Summoner's Pact. Summoner's Pact is a great toolbox here. Ooh. Okay, so now I need to Veil and Cantrip into Lotus Petal, exactly. No, uh, if I use the ESG, then I can Veil into either the other ESG or the four Lotus Petals. So I have one more out. Let's try it, let's hope. They did actually have exactly Force of Will. Ah, that works too. Yes. I forgot about the Dark Rituals. That's lovely. Okay. Discard the Orcish Bowmasters. And we win. That was nice. That was a uh, <laughs> play to your outs, folks. I am super glad that I reconsidered that and used the Elvish Spirit Guide for mana for the Veil of Summer instead of that Bayou. I almost tapped the Bayou and uh, that just wasn't gonna be good. Okay. Okay, against our opponent, I like the defense grids, I like the Carpet of Flowers and the Safe Keepers. Um, I don't think that Abrupt Decay is necessary. Fluster Storms, mm, eh. Okay, so this is going to be a bigger control deck as opposed to the Delver deck that we were playing before. Because of that, I think that we can get rid of 
all of the dark rituals. Obviously, it was very, very important to us winning the last game, but I don't think that it's going to be necessary now. Um, I also want the Abrupt Decays, just as a catch-all, right? Um, we do have Suspend cards in our deck that I think that we're going to lean a little bit more into, uh, and having Abrupt Decay for Teferi to actually make sure that our Suspend spells resolve is kind of important. Uh, okay. Thoughtseizes and Veil of Summers are great Orcish Bowmasters. Pretty solid as a secondary plan. And then I think that we can get rid of a Summoner's Pact and two Lotus Petals. We're going to slow down in post-board games against Control and uh, make sure that our feet are out, our feet are underneath us and give us a solid foundation. We don't need to turbo things out. So um, with that plan in mind... I can also, ooh, I can consider Collector Oof. Um, we did just see the One Ring and Mox Diamond. Let's, maybe Elder Spirit Guide is not as good anymore. And if I'm doing that, uh, what about a Chain of Smog or, no, let's take a Summoner's Pact out. Let's just do this. I don't know if this is going to be correct or not. It's cutting down on a few tutors extra, but mostly it's just mana acceleration. And since our opponent is not going to be clocking us very quickly, then I think it'll be just fine. Dominique, that's brutal. Turn one Trinisphere and then just had the combo. Turn one Trinisphere... Uh, in a pre-board game, they just had that in their main deck. That's pretty wild. Uh, I like this hand. I like this hand quite a bit. We've got some protection, some disruption, some cantrips to find everything, and both copy or both halves of the combo in our hand. So we're gonna keep this. We don't have stack interaction, but. Okay, we're gonna be ramping now. It's gonna be quick. Okay, our one Elvish Spirit Guide. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get a Tropical Island here. And Ponder. All of this looks great. Um, Let's um, make sure that we hit our second land drop, and then we can have carpet on the following turn. They are playing non-islands right now. I think that that will change. It just did change. Great. Is this an Uro or a Teferi? It's an Uro. Okay. Do they have land to put in? They do. They are ramping very quickly. This is four mana on turn two for our opponent. They have a ponder. That'd be kind of sick. There it is. Okay. Uh, they chose to shuffle their ponder, so small miracles. Um, <clears throat> okay. Carpet of Flowers is great. I'm going to play out the land really quick. Cast the carpet. Okay, let's move into our next main phase and use carpet. We're going to use blue and I'm going to brainstorm. Uh, okay, so I don't think that we need this Elvish Spirit Guide or the land for this carpet of flowers might get prismatic ending. We also saw Leyline Binding. Um, they might not even have Swords to Black Shares. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of the land four. I mean, we can suspend a Profane Tutor. Off of an Underground Sea. Uh, yeah. 
it was either that or a bayou, but I think that having access to this is going to get the bayou, I think. So I think that'll be just fine. Okay. We are in their main phase. Brainstorm. I hope they slam it to fairy and think that it's going to stop me. Um, it's not. But I hope that they spend those resources. I can even bounce the carpet of flowers. Mm, they also could play the one ring, which would be a little problematic. I would draw them quite a few cards. Leyline binding. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yep. That's all good. That all happens. I still think that it was fine getting rid of the fourth land. Uh, we have this Lotus Petal. And hopefully, I should have just yielded to that. I don't know why I didn't, but. Brainstorm, great, great. Um, let's play the Sylvan Safekeeper, and then on their end step, well, they are representing black mana. So instead of getting hit by an Orcish Bowmasters, um, Let's just do this. Okay, let's put back Chain of Smog and the Abrupt Decay. Yes. Yep. So this is our fourth mana. Um, Sylvan Safekeeper is our targeted removal protection. We currently don't have um, stack interaction. They have three cards in hand. We'll have to see what happens. Swords to Plowshares. They've got a bunch of removal then. Maybe they're not playing Prismatic Ending and instead playing Leyline Binding. Or maybe they're just playing a bunch of, a bunch of white removal. Um, if that's the case, I would have loved to play against this as the Epic Storm. What are we doing? Uro? Uro it is. Okay. We are on a three turn clock. Their life total doesn't matter, which is nice. And they played a land and another land. Okay, so they have two cards in their hand. Um, and it looks like they're doing other things as well. Hmm. The nice thing about this is that we are actually kind of discard protected. Oh, they put Yorion in their hand. I wonder if that's because they needed a blue card for force. Um, I would like to draw a mana source here because then, well, actually, so let's let's think about this. Um, this is four mana. This Summoner's Pact can get the Witherbloom Apprentice, and the Chain of Smog is in our hand. So this Profane Tutor can get a Veil of Summer instead of the Witherbloom Apprentice that I was thinking that it was going to get. And that will allow me to draw to a mana source and have a Veil Protected win if I get a Veil now with this Profane Tutor. Or I could get a defense grid. Nah, no, that's not as great. Uh, they've got a bunch of mana. Okay. Let's go with a Veil of Summer here. And if we don't get it, then... Oh, we did. It doesn't matter. Then we could have just passed the turn and after suspending the Profane Tutor and been fine. But 
as it stands, we have a veil protected win. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Witherbloom Apprentice in hand. Uh, green, black, cast the Witherbloom Apprentice. We have Veil Protection. Mm. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And it ended up resolving. So now we've got this chain of smug. Look at that. Our opponent could have a solitude. Um, but no, they didn't. And we three to the league. That was that was pretty fun. Uh, neat. Our opponent ended up not having the requisite. Let me go back to it. Requisite interaction. They kept a ley line binding and a speedy Uro and couldn't get there. Nice. So 3 2 on the day. Put that win up there. Um, one of those wins was a little interesting. Our, our reanimator opponent mulliganed quite aggressively and uh, not sure. I'm not sure if there was a preemptive scoop or what, but let's open up this chest, see what we get. Uh, five play points, Anyi, Maid of Dishonor, and Dosen, the Falling Leaf. Cool artwork, um, but eh, it is not the greatest of chests. So let's talk about this um, this pile of cards you see before you. I think that this was a, yeah, it was a very quick league, Jason, wasn't it? Uh, this is a really cool combo deck, right? This A plus B of Witherbloom Apprentice plus Chain of Smog is uh, very compact, which, it, I mean, it's just those eight spells or eight slots. And then the rest of the deck can be devoted to making sure that resolves. Um, I didn't mention this in the deck tech, I forgot, but legendary legacy combo brewer Jax um, who was actually on an article series for me for Infernal Tutoring uh, a few months ago just super active in the Storm Discord uh, just magic community in general um, I was talking with Jax and they had mentioned the addition of Bowmasters and the addition of Profane Tutor in the piles um, that were a little bit different than the preordains that were being put put in there and and i like the changes i think that profane tutor actually ended up doing pretty good um it allowed us to set up turn over turn um i'm sure that in other games it allowed our opponent to prepare for a profane tutor turn but being able to preemptively bank mana that then paid off as a free tutor later on in the game was pretty important um, we didn't get to see Sylvan Safekeeper really do much, but in leagues testing with it, it was fantastic. We were I was playing up against Death and Taxes, and being able to stop Swords, Swords, Solitude against uh, a deck like mine, like this one that requires a creature to exist on the battlefield to win, really, really cool stuff. Um, so... I like that. The The one thing that doesn't really have any synergy with the deck at all is Orcish Bowmasters. And I think that that's actually pretty good. Having a card that does not function on the axis of your combo can have application when you need something to get across the finish line. This is not as finessed as uh, something like Urza's Saga in Painter or Urza's Saga in Cephalid Breakfast that also functions to get combo pieces. Not quite as good, but I think that it functioned, it, it has the potential to function well enough. We didn't actually end up 
doing anything with Bowmasters, but that was just fine. I also like just being a ley line deck in leagues. We actually came up against two reanimator opponents and um, started off with ley lines that ended up, I don't know, our opponent scooped. Maybe, um, maybe they weren't ready for ley lines, but it ended up working out really nicely. So thank you all for coming by and stopping in on this stream that was a uh, take two of a stream on Thursday that didn't end up going very well for internet reasons. Hopefully those will get fixed. I know that today started off a little shaky, but ended up following well enough but, uh, in line. Um, I don't think that we had any more internet issues. Hopefully I will talk to my ISP again and again and again, and see if we can get some consistency in my internet. But until then, I will talk to y'all next time. See you around.